I'm here with author Rebecca Fannin, who's just written a book, Silicon Heartland. Can you tell me what it's about? Yes, it's about transforming the Midwest from Rust Belt to Tech Belt. Well, what does that involve? It involves the transformation of an industrial zone into a techie zone that is akin to Silicon Valley, but it's still developing. So that's why we say from Rust Belt, which was the old Rust Belt Industries, to the new tech innovators. Well, I heard you did quite a bit of research interviewing people and going on a road trip all through the Midwest. Uh, can you tell me about your trip? Yes, uh, it was very exciting. Uh, I drove in my Honda Element. You can see my Honda right here. That's the end of my road trip back at my publisher's place outside of Boston. But my road trip was throughout the whole heartland from Pittsburgh over to Indianapolis, from Flint, Michigan, down to Lexington, Kentucky. And here in the center is Lancaster, Ohio, which is my hometown. It also happens to be uh, where the Intel plant is under construction. And here is a photo that I took during my road trip of the Intel plant, the new semiconductor plant right outside of Columbus. It's 30 miles from my hometown of Lancaster. Now, do you think that these towns that have sort of bad reputation as being a Rust Belt town, like in Detroit or Flint or Lancaster, do you think they can compete with Silicon Valley or China? It's on its way. And here in this photo of me in front of the last standing steel mill in Pittsburgh area where Carnegie Mellon was and all the steel mills started. That's the last one. And we are seeing new technologies to replace old steel mills, uh, new technologies in Pittsburgh, such as AI and robotics and autonomous driving. So yes, I do think that the Rust Belt can compete uh, with China's tech belt. And it's on its way. We're seeing uh, many developments such as venture capital pouring in from the coast, from New York and Boston and San Francisco. Uh, we're seeing a lot of new talent develop, entrepreneurial talent. Uh, we're seeing heroes develop. Uh, we're starting to see startups really scale up. And some of them have been acquired already and some of them have gone public. So yes, uh, it is definitely competitive and it's a good counterpoint to China, uh, which uh, has gone on very strong in the past decade and a half, which I wrote about in my first book, Silicon Dragon. So who are the people that are driving this transformation? There must be you know, uh, different leaders that are actually ahead of this transformation. Yeah, definitely there are. There are people like John Chambers, who is, coming back to West Virginia to help spur an entrepreneurial culture in West Virginia, in Appalachia. People like Brad Smith, who was from Intuit, who came back to West Virginia and became president of Marshall University. There are people like at Drive Capital in Columbus, Ohio, to Silicon Valley Venture Capitalists, who left Silicon Valley and set up Drive Capital in Columbus has had a major impact throughout the region in funding startups and seeing them scale up. So for people who are investors who are looking for the next big thing, do you think uh, it would be worth investing into the heartland? Well, yes. If you're in early enough, you have to be in early. Uh, that's the whole trick. If you're a venture investor, actually, after these companies go public, you may be able to make money then, too, in the stock market. So I've seen uh, many companies already go public on NASDAQ and New York Stock Exchange, and uh, they've done well. And so there's many opportunities for investors to make money out of this whole trend. What kind of products are coming out of Heartland, the tech products that are going to transform my life or other people's life in the next five years? Yeah, good question. I think we're seeing AI, autonomous vehicles, electric vehicles. We're seeing 3D printing, uh, biotech, insurance tech, and software developments, many technologies. It's across all technology sectors. It's happening in the heartland now.